Welcome to, to Enable again. I'm now going to show you how to log in and uh, there's obviously two ways to log in. Um, the first is entering your username and password which were given to you during the registration process and the alternative is if you ha have a, a Facebook account is that you can log in directly with Facebook. Um, in fact you don't even have to go through the registration process to log in via Facebook. So this is, this is your Facebook username and your Facebook password and the validation is done by Facebook and Facebook passes through to our program for instance your name and, and a couple of other details. Uh, I'm going to log in uh, with the details that I uh, registered with and it's important to note also that during this, the, the registration process we asked for data that is not available through your Facebook login. So you'll find if you've logged in through Facebook you might get asked at a later time some additional information such as the name of the school you went to or um, date of birth and your gender. So there's no guarantee about what's going to be asked, it just depends on what Facebook has decided to release to us. Um, but if you've gone through the, our registration process you shouldn't be asked anything after having been through the registration process. So I'm just going to log in and you've obviously got an option to say remember me next time. The login as guest is really just a simplified function for somebody who wants to come and browse the website without going through the process of registering and uh, they can do that and if they decide they really want to use the application they can then register and, and have their own account. Uh, so that's just a, a convenient way for people to, to check out the site. So, But in this case I am going to obviously log in as a user. You'll notice that after we have logged in it brings up our menu of choices. Um, if, if I am logged in already and I go to the to enable home page you'll see it comes up with a logout button because it's telling me that I'm, I'm already logged in and to access those, those uh, links to the learning I need to click on the home button and that will in a moment depending on the speed of internet bring up the options that are available to you and in the next uh, video I'm going to explain to you how to access the learning content.